Ain't that beautiful? Nice colours in that. Look at that. Let's add some more to it. Got some burnt stuff in there and a lot of good heavy, heavy stuff. That's all number two in there. So let's add some more to it. We've got some microwave and oh there's microwave little motors and a few other motors here um so let's pull them apart i'll only be wearing the one glove because i don't want to be stabbing my hand it's just the way i do it i don't bother putting them in the vice we'll separate the copper put the copper in here uh plastics in here and metal in the black so let's pull it apart hopefully my scales my bathroom scales will work I don't think they will, but that's the way it's going to work. Uh, plastic in there, metal in there, more plastic there. Just to verify on how much actually comes out of these. That's all it is. Whether they're worthwhile doing? Well, I reckon they're worthwhile doing because you're getting a lot of um, a lot of the copper out of them. Instead of leaving it as a motor. So it is sometimes best, just my opinion, to actually get it out. That's plastic. And they don't take long. That's it. Done. I'll set that aside and we'll go through and do a whole heap of those. Uh, get into this one. They don't take long at all. Some of them are out of, um, that I've got here in this range, are out of stoves. The little little fan up the top. That's plastic, come out, metal. All your plastic gears. The plastic's just going in the rubbish anyway. That can go into metal. I try to keep as much plastic out of my metal as I possibly can. Yes, I could leave it on there, but then it makes it look dirty to me. That's just me though. Um, I've always liked to have things nice and clean. Now you're gonna send it away to a scrap metal dealer, you might as well clean it up for them. Um, get a little bit better money for it, not much. They say it's clean. So yeah, these don't take long at all. That's number two done. So they go through pretty quick, these things. That one can go there. Sounds like we've got a ski boat in. Coming to that mad season again. Oh, it mightn't be a ski boat, it might be a ute. Yeah, it's a ute. One of our members that have come in. So there might not be many videos for this year, for the rest of the season. Um, I've got to maintain this place too, so but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm trying my best, doing the best I can to create the content for everyone. All the terminals have already been taken off on this. Come out, come out, come out, wherever you are. Yep, poke a hole through, that's right. That's why I said I'm wearing one glove only. He sounds like he's having trouble. There we go, got that one out. Sit that there, there's another bit of plastic there, I'll get that out. That there, that there. Must be one of those low utes. Watch Revenue's motor a bit. How am I going to get that one apart? Here comes dear old June. There we go. Got it apart. Now 
can leave that bit of plastic on there. It's not much plastic. It's only a little bit. Is that a screw there? I think it is. Darn it. Grab a side. He's giving it to it, isn't he? Oh, damn. <laughs> he certainly knows how to rev that one. Um, in the milk crate. In the milk crate. Ouch. Jeez, you can still hear him. <laughs> Giving it to it. Well, couldn't he get over that speed up or something? Hmm? Couldn't he get over the speed up or something? Ah, uh, he's got to go angle eyed. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, because he's got a low car. Oh, okay. Get some nutcases in here. <laughs> there we go, got that out. Get the plastic out of this. I don't have to, but that's just me, like I said. All my steel has been cleaned for all the plastic as much as I possibly can get out. If I can get this out, that's even better still. Because I'm trying to find out whether it's, you know, the difference in weight. Takes a little bit extra. Oh geez, you got a few there. <laughs> yes, darling, I'm recording for you. <laughs> She's looking at the camera. She don't know whether it's recording. I've changed the settings, doll. <laughs> you don't have to bend down to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look at you and think, well, why is she doing what she's doing? <laughs> Bending down like that. <laughs> They'll think you're crazy. <laughs> ah, it's all good everyone. There is another way you can do these too with a hammer. Uh, I'll show you. Show you all with a hammer. Mind your arm doll. Move that please. Just give them a hit on the outside. Pops it open. That way you can get a bigger screwdriver in there. Pop it apart. That's what I found anyway. Um, you used my black bucket. Oh, it was in here. Hey? It was in here. No, it was down there. No, it was in here. It shouldn't have been. Well, it was. So I'm using it. It's only to put the metal in. I'm not doing nothing else with it. There. That's one, just one other way, but I like doing it this way. I get more satisfaction.
got some sailboats on the lake. Yeah, I know. Having their regatta. This is like opening clamshells, isn't it? Hmm? This is like opening clamshells. Hmm. You'd like to untie that, please? The ute? Gonna pick up today with Harvey Norman. Got a phone call just a bit after lunch and said, oh, would you like this, this and this? I, oh yeah, I'll come straight away and pick it up. They said, oh, we're closing at four o'clock. I said, that doesn't matter, I'll just come pick it up anyway. So they went in there, found out that the wash machine that's on the vehicle now, it's only got a buggered up bearing. Spoke to him and that's what he said, so. Well, see what's wrong with it, actually wrong with it, and um, try and repair it. Get it fixed. Shouldn't take much. Already put a bearing in one and sold it again. Put it back out in the world, repurposed it. I didn't, yeah, those terminals are still on there. I don't really worry about the terminals on these. There's a lot of hassle going through getting those little bits of terminals like for what you get out of it. So that'll just go in the bin, in the scrap. Scrap rubbish. I can, I can with the uh, side cutters, just drag them out. you break the whole plastic off anyway a bit fiddly and finicky to get out so that's just plastic for me I can save it I suppose but how much are you going to do to um, how many of them will you get before you get anything out of it that's the one I'm looking at too I'm not asking you to take it off just have a look in the box. Bless you. And this thing that June's getting out, just bring it up here. Move the scale. Yeah, just move the scales out of the road. They said there's only parts, some parts missing in it, so. Give it a test on that, that item. Looks brand new, still in the box. Bloody oath. Wow. I'd love to know what parts are missing. It's a blender. It's a new, it's a neutral bullet. Oh well, it's probably probably Hi the main everyone. probably the main section that's missing. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you deal with that. I hope everyone's well. I got a little bit of a catch of hay fever. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> sniffling flat out over here. Hey? I'm just saying, you're sniffling flat out over over there. Ooh, she's going, ooh, ooh. She got excited. Ooh. What do you got? Well, that's the part. Oh, you got, well, that's the part that you always ha have problems with, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh, you have problems with the top half, don't you? Oh. The glass piece is missing. Yeah. Oh, you got that part. Well, what part's missing? You have to go through the check sheet. Brand new, in the box. Oh. Damn. I have to go and get... Yeah, go and get a tissue. Ah, uh, down there. <laughs> Three to go, everyone. <laughs> I'm interested in what she's doing over here now. Got me intrigued. 
a bit of tape on that one. That'll be easy to get off. But yeah, if you with your, your your microwave motors, this is all they involved. Some of them are thinner, so it they are worthwhile in the end if you want to get to them. Get the copper out. I like getting the copper out because it's better for me. Well, that's stuck in there, and don't won't need to worry about that anyway because it's staying as metal. Just got to get this casing out. There we go. Plastic there. Metal there. Metal there. That there. Lucky last. Then we'll get to and cut all that out. I don't have to sit there and unwind it either. I'll get a little... I was unwinding it, but um, I used the hammer on that one. A bit hard. Pushes it open. Steel. Steel. Plastic. Plastic. So what's missing in it? It's a good, uh, good thing that I've got a uh, deal with RV Norman where they just give me a phone call and they say, well, can you come and pick this up if you want it? Um, I get all the rejects. And what don't work, I just scrap out. You know, if, even if it doesn't work, I give a look, give it a once over and see how we go with that. All right, now all you got to do with these is you get all this paper and bull crap off there that'll go in rubbish which is plastic yeah they can hear that uh, sorry the chair's squeaky <laughs> yeah squeaky alright that's only rubbish go through and check them over give them a once over that one's got to have tape taken off where is it? Glad I got the glasses on. Come on, off you come. There we go. That one there. Where'd it go? It's a lot of tape. There we go. A nice rich copper that. That one's got tape on it. Pull them out of the road. So what's it missing? Hmm? Don't take it out of the plastic, whatever you do. No. Might be able to resell it. Make a quid on it. Another one there, that one's... Yeah, that one's done. That one's done, that one's done. That one's done, done. Done, done. He's got some on him. What's wrong, my son? Nothing. Are you kidding? Nothing. <laughs> I was told, I was actually told that there was parts missing. 
In a minute. I'm going to finish this off. I'll finish this off. That one to there. Now she's got me in a hurry here. Yeah? <laughs> got me going here. Yep, okay. We'll get to and do this. Oop, drop the hammer on the ground. Now, this is the simple part. That to there. Little screwdriver. Grab our bucket. Put out all of our rubbish and stuff over there. Right, we want that this way. Bucket's nice and clean. Clean as it'll ever get. Then you just peel it out. Simple. Grab all your little strands. Makes it so easy. We'll go to and just chop them up. And then we'll peel them out. That's got a bit of plastic on it. Ordinary steaming knife, pocket knife. It'll get it off. Just an ordinary pair of tin snips. Ooh, a lot of plastic there. Just make sure when you're um, putting your copper in, you don't get any plastic. That's all. All you have to make sure. through there that'll be easier whatever the easiest you put it through all right that was lucky last small driver peel him out done Sometimes you don't need a screwdriver, but I find it's a lot easier to get hold of the bottom. Bit of plastic there. Take the glove off now. Oh, gee. Didn't quite cut that one. But yeah, so simple. I have never found a um, microwave motor like the turntable one to be aluminium wire yet. In all the time I've been doing this, though I haven't been doing it that long, um, but yeah. Oh, big plastic there. Pretty colour. They say it's number two wire. I don't know why. Probably because it's got the coating on the outside. My scrap metal dealer takes it as number two. You don't take it as number one.
I make sure I get every strand. I don't throw much away. If you're throwing it away, then you shouldn't. I, I, my opinion, you, it's um, not worth doing if you don't get every strand. You go to that much effort just to get that big bit, and then you'll throw a small strand away. Uh, every little bit adds up. It's like every 10 cents adds up. Especially with your cans. I'm yet to find out how much number two copper we've actually got. like it when it comes off like that. You're not going in there. Come out of there, used to. Bugger. Come here. Last one. That's that. So what have you got over here, darling? What's missing? Nothing? What is it? A pitcher. 900 mil pitcher. Oh, just a jug? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. Well, you've got... Go and buy a $2 jug. No, no. no. Oh, no. Well, you can't because it goes on the thing, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got the, mo the motor... Motor, base, the, the pan, panel control. Oh, because the jug goes on this. That? Yeah, that, that's the... That sits on there? No, you've already got one no. on there. No. See? Oh! That screws Yeah, but see, you've got the jug that screws onto that. So you that's what's missing. you got the jug screwed on that. Then yep. you've got the template. Yeah, that's... The, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right. Then you've got a cup, a travelling mug... A cut, should say. A handle cut. No handle on those. That's the handle. Oh, cup. okay. Then you've got the travelling mug, which is a small one, which is that one there. Yep. Then you've got the lids to go with it. Yep. Because you've got a lid there and you've got two lids here. Yep. And this one here is the pitcher lid and vetland cap. So it's only missing this jug? Yeah. <laughs> the tumbler? No, the pitcher. Oh, the pitcher. 900 mil pitcher. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> hey, put it back in the box. Take a photo. <laughs> I'm going to resell it.
Might be the quid on it. Um. Hey, we can take all that stuff off. Um, no, I'm just looking for something. <laughs> and we can stay in the ad. Hey, it's brand new. It's brand new. It's still in the package. So anyway, everyone, uh, let's get to... Damn, mozzies are biting me here. Uh, let's weigh all this up. That feels like a fair bit. I might have to uh, get a set of scales to weigh the copper, this little bit of copper. I don't think... I'll just have a check. Move all this out of the road for a second, doll. I don't think they're going to work. No, I've got to get another set of scales. Oh, Ooh, oh hang on. It might be only an ounce. It's not sitting on top. Yeah, it is. I'll get another set of scales. Um, that's a quick way of doing that. All right. Got our new set of scales out. Do these uh, weigh up the metal first. Weigh it with the uh, bucket. June's just on the way out. That is 1.10 kilos. Change it to pounds, 2.4 pounds, um, and two pounds, six ounces. That's with the bucket. So we'll take it off. Oop, we'll just weigh the bucket. Bucket weighs nothing. Nothing. Not even an ounce. So it doesn't make a difference. I'll pick that up. No, she's not making a difference with the ounces. All right, we'll leave that scrap metal in there. We'll hang on to that bucket. Now, plastic. <laughs> Just our plastic. Nothing. So, yeah. Whether it's worthwhile putting it all together, I don't know. We can weigh them separate. Um, nothing in kilos, nothing in pounds. Leave that as it is. Now our copper, our nice clean copper, weighs 15 ounces with the bucket. Now I'll just weigh the bucket. It's a pretty heavy bucket, this one. It's not weighing anything. Oh, one ounce. Yeah, almost flickered to one ounce. Yeah, she's not weighing much. So yeah. Uh, we'll put it all together. Put a bucket on top of a bucket. That's probably the easiest way. So that much. What do we got? 0.44. That's kilos. Uh, 0.74. Steel's where it's going to add it up. So it was 1.7 kilos with the three buckets. Uh, how can I do that? Yes, I can. We can go steel, plastic stuff goes in. Steel go there. Plastic can go in the bin. That's our rubbish bin. That bucket there. Oh, and no, I'll deal with the metal straight away. Right, we'll take that out of there. Put that into there. Weigh our three buckets together. So we're only going to take off... 0.32 of a kilo, 0.72 of a pound, uh, 11 ounces. So they weigh 11 ounces together. Damn good scales, these. Loving those. Yeah, but anyway, pretty good copper. That goes in there. Wow. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And uh, if you can consider subscribing, how much we got here? That's pretty nice. If you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video come out. Look at that stuff. That's worthwhile. Wow. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there. I just thought I'd pop this one out, quick, a quick one out for you. And um, that's not supposed to be in there. Bit of plastic in that. We'll sort that out. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video.